Hi everyone, welcome to the Flower Factor. Today I'm going to show you a really cool technique. I'm going to create a beautiful structure. We're going to use some tubes and we're going to work with a beautiful range of spray roses. These come from interplant roses. We're going to have fun and creating something really cool. We're going to start off with the tubes. So basically what I do is just take the raffia and go around close to the edge. And when we create structures like this, we can invest a little bit of time, of course, because we can reuse them time and time again. In this case, we're gonna create something for one of my favorite seasons, the autumn. And then when you come to the end, we just take a little bit of hot glue and you just go around and turn it in like this, take off little edges and then we have a really nice structure. We need about eight, nine of these. So we finished with the tubes. Now I have a little piece of cardboard, the ring. Uh, in this case, something that holds the wrapping paper. I never throw these away because we can always use them. And we're going to do the same trick, same technique. So again, with the raffia going around, make sure it's really nice and tight. And then we can really start building our base. We're just gonna fix it like this. And to make it even stronger, we're going around with some binding wire, finish off again with a little raffia. Make a little nut, just a little detail. And this is our base, a really nice cool structure. We can reuse it time and time again. And we have this nice movement. And now it's time to play with our beautiful spray roses. I'm gonna take off a lot of leaves because I like the clean stems going into that beautiful flowers. With one stem you already have a little small bouquet and of course for florists it's interesting to have these different stamps because we can also use that in techniques clamp material in between we're going inside the tubes it's just a nice little full Colorful bouquet, almost. Make sure we have a nice, sharp and clean cut. So we have our structure ready. I'm gonna add a few more details because when you have roses like this and a structure like this, you don't need a lot. So I'm just gonna take the raffia and going really roughly around the sticks, trying to make a bit of a messy structure almost. We take a little knot on the end. I'm going to leave the edges like this and then carefully using the different stems of the rows, I can clamp it in really nicely. And little details like this really work. So I'm carefully going, opening up the rows, using the many different small stamps of the rows to clamp it in. Maybe you see it at first, maybe you don't, but you will discover it when you look at it much longer and closer. And there we have it, just a nice structure, nice bowl, and then this beautiful bouquet of spray roses. I'm really enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed it too. And of course, we hope to see you next time here at Flower Factor. Bye-bye.